Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about peroxo compounds of boron, carbon, and sulfur. As we know, there are different types of peroxo compounds are for boron, carbon, and sulfur. Then we are discussing in this slide. We will discuss about the borax, that is the peroxo compound of boron. We will also discuss about the sodium percarbonate, which is the peroxo compound of carbon. And we will discuss about the two peroxo compounds of sulfur. One first one is that is mono peroxy monosulfuric acid, and second one is the peroxy disulfuric acid. Now let us discuss what are the learning outcomes of the present video. After studying this video, you shall be able to understand that what are peroxo compounds of boron, carbon, and sulfur. And we can also know the preparation methods and general properties of carbon compounds of boron, carbon, and sulfur. That means we will discuss about what are the properties preparation of the sodium percarbonate, what are the various uses of the different borax in different areas, what are the uses of the sulfur compound that is the peroxy monosulfuric acid and peroxy disulfuric acid in different areas. And we can also understand the applications of peroxo compounds of boron, carbon and sulfur in this video. Now let us discuss about peroxo compounds of boron. The first question is, what are peroxo compounds? As we know that peroxo compound is mainly a compound which contains an oxygen oxygen single bond. Yeah, we can say that is the it is having peroxide anion that is O2 2 minus charge. So these are basically referred to as peroxo compound. As we know, we have different compounds like we have Na2O2, K2O2, that is called as sodium peroxide, K2O2 is potassium peroxide, S2O2, that is the hydrogen peroxide. So these are the some peroxide compounds which are having this oxygen oxygen single bond. Yeah, we can say they are having peroxide anion in their structure formula. In this case, we can see that the oxygen oxygen group that we are calling this is the peroxide group yeah that can also be referred to as peroxo group it consists in the structured formula of these compounds like we have Na2O2, K2O2, S2O2 etc yeah we are having some peroxo compounds of boron, sulfur and carbon so they consist of this oxygen oxygen group which we are calling a peroxide group yeah peroxide group in their structured formula in contrast to the oxide ions, the oxygen atoms in the peroxide ion, they also possess the oxidation state of oxygen, that is the minus one. As we know, generally the oxidation state of oxygen in different compounds, that is having minus two charge. But in case of peroxide ion, we can see that oxidation state of oxygen is in having minus charge because it is sharing between two, so that's why we are getting the minus charge on particular oxygen atom. And the, one of the simplest stable peroxide known to us is the hydrogen peroxide that is also called chemical formula is S2O2. And we know that almost all the naturally occurring forms are boron or boron are basically oxygen containing borate minerals which consists of oxygen so they are basically borate minerals which consist of oxygen and in addition to these there are various types of organic derivatives that contains the boron oxygen bond which is the chief example in this case we can contain that trigonal boron that is orthoborate whose formula is BOR thrice then the acyl borates whose formula is BOCO are cathrides and the peroxo borates that is having formula B O O R cathrides and the boronic acid that is having the chemical formula that is R B O H twice and all of which are the best considered to be derivatives of boric acid that can be utilized for various purposes. Now come to next slide. 
in which we will discuss about borings. What are borings? Basically, borings is the most common ore which is found in the earth in the form of which is the main important compound of the boron and it can be turned into a various types of boron compound. As we can see, this is the ball and stick model of the borax in which red color it represents the number of oxygen atom. These are red color balls represents the number of oxygen atom while these yellow color balls these represents the number of boron atom in case of this borax form that is sodium peroxoborate. So let us discuss about what is sodium peroxoborate as we have discussed in this structure. This is the structure of sodium peroxoborate. It is the ball and stick model and this is the structural formula of sodium peroxoborate in which we can see that the two sodium ions because it is a sodium salt of borax that's why we are taking here two Na plus ion and we are having these oxygen atom this is shown by the red color balls in the ball and stick model we are having boron atom that is a four number which is represented in this case of number of this one so in case of sodium peroxoborate when a solution of borax and hydroperoxide hydrogen peroxide is mainly crystallized when it will lead to the peroxoborates which is variously formulated as it can be written as like NaBO3.4H2O or it can also be written as NaBO3.H2O2 that 3 h 2 for the simplicity. When we are reacting the that is borax that is Na3BO3 which is the important compound of boron when it is reacting with the H2O2 that is the hydrogen peroxide then it is producing the sodium peroxoborate that is having formula NaBO3 and we will also get two molecules of the NaBO3 that is sodium hydroxide and another method through which it can also be prepared by utilizing the action of sodium carbonate that is Na2CO3 which is the peroxo compound of carbon so when we are reacting the sodium percarbonate along with the sodium metaborate that is NaBO2 it is the sodium metaborate structural formula then when we are reacting the sodium metaborate along with the peroxo compound of carbon that is sodium percarbonate then we are also getting the sodium peroxoborate that is having NaBO3 plus also one molecule of Na2CO3 that is the sodium carbonate it can also be prepared by treated boric acids that is S3BO3 along with the sodium peroxide that is Na2O2. In this case we can see then when sodium peroxide is reacting with the S3BO3 that is the boric acid then it is giving the NaBO3 which is that is the sodium peroxoborate. Thus we are also getting the two molecules of water. Then further we can see that when Na2O2 that is the sodium peroxide it is reacting with the boric acid it is giving the it can also produce the Na2B4O8 and 6 water molecule when this Na2B4O8 it reacts in presence of HCl or H2O then again it is producing the sodium peroxoborate that is NaBO3 we will also get NaCl plus boric acid in this reaction. Now, discuss about what is the correct IUPAC name of sodium perborate that is the disodium tetrahydroxido dimu peroxido diborate. This is the correct IUPAC name for the compound. And this name describes the structure in which we can see that there is a two bridging peroxide groups are present as we can see in sister. This is the structure for the sodium peroxoborate in which we can clearly see that there are two peroxide linkages first and second these are present in this structural formula of sodium peroxoborate so which structure it is already described which is the correct name to this one that is the disodium tetrahydroxido dimu peroxido diborate so through which it it is can be clearly seen in this through this structural formula now let us discuss what are the various uses of the sodium peroxoborate in different areas. So we can say that it can also be utilized as a brightener 
agent in washing powders like we have automatic dish water powders we have whitening toothpastes so for giving the brighter performance in washing powders automatic dish water powders or whitening toothpaste we are mainly utilizing the sodium peroxoborate as a whitening agent it is also compatible with the enzymes which are added to some biological powders that is another use of sodium peroxoborate and another use of sodium peroxoborate that it can be utilized when we are using in the hot water at around 80 degrees centigrade the peroxide linkages that is this linkage it will broke down to the s2o2 and in case of when we are treating with the water or we are heating the sodium peroxoborate so this break linkage will break and it will convert in the form of simplest peroxide that is the hydrogen peroxide molecule now let us discuss about next slides in which we will discuss about the peroxo compounds of sulfur so as we know we have two types there are there are several peroxo compounds of sulfurs are present so in which basically we are discussing in this slide there are two types of peroxo compound sulfur that is peroxo monosulfuric acid which is also known as per sulfuric acid which is also named as kerosene. So these are the various names which is given to the peroxy monosulfuric acid that is per sulfuric acid and kerosene acid that can be utilized for various purposes in the form of peroxo compound of sulfur. Similarly, we have another peroxo compound of sulfur in V that is peroxy disulfuric acid. Yeah, we can also named as martial acid. So these are the two important peroxo compounds of sulfur that can be utilized for various purposes. As we can see, these are the ball and stick model of peroxy monosulfuric acid and peroxy disulfuric acid. So this is for peroxy monosulfuric acid and this ball and stick model for the peroxy disulfuric acid. In this color, this yellow color ball represents the number of S atom in case of peroxy monosulfuric acid and these two yellow color balls represent the number of S that is sulfur atom in case of peroxy disulfuric acid while these red color balls they represent the here we are having five number that represents the number of oxygen atom in case of peroxy monosulfuric acid while they here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 number of red color ball, they represent the number of oxygen atom present in case of peroxy disulfuric acid. While in both the ball and stick model, these yellow, uh, white, uh, white color balls, in which we have two white color balls in both structures, so they refer to the number of H atom present in case of peroxy monosulfuric acid and peroxy disulfuric acid now let us discuss first compound of peroxo compound of sulfur that is the peroxy monosulfuric acid this peroxy monosulfuric acid it is also referred to as pulp sulfuric acid yeah we can also named as kerose acid which is also important peroxo compound of sulfur and it can be also utilized as a strongly oxidizing agent which is having the chemical formula that is S2SO5 which is first described by the scientist that is Heinrich Kairos in 1898 so on the basis of name of this scientist that is Heinrich Kairos we can also call this compound that is Kairos acid it is the structural formula of this S2SO5 that is peroxomonosulfuric acid in which these are the oxygenous state of different atom present in the structure form of S2SO5. As we can see this oxygen oxygen bond it represents the peroxide linkage in case of S2SO5 that's why we here is the minus one minus one uh, oxygen state is present in case of both atoms of oxygen while this is the normal oxygen so that's why in all the three oxygen atoms except this one, we are having minus two oxygen state, which is the normal oxygen state of oxygen. And in this compound, we can see that sulfur is having in the plus six oxygen state, while both hydrogen atoms they are present in the plus one oxygen state. 
तो बेसिकली वी कैन से दैट व्हाट इज द प्रॉपर्टी दिस पेरोक्सी मोनोसल्फ्यूरिक एसिड या दैट इज कैरोस एसिड इट इज क्रिस्टलाइन वाइज प्लस सॉलिड व्हिच इज हैविंग मेल्टिंग पॉइंट 318 केल्विन टेंपरेचर एंड इन दिस एसिड द सल्फर सिक्स सेंटर अडॉप्ट इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक टेट्राहेड्रल ज्योमेट्री तो ज्योमेट्री ऑफ दिस इज द दैट इज द टेट्राहेड्रल टाइप ज्योमेट्री and the connectivity is indicated by the formula as we can see that oh oso2 oh this is the formula for the s2so5 that is for oxy monosulfuric acid and it is one of the strongest oxygen known to us whose uh, standard oxidation potential value is the e not is equal to plus 2.51 volt which is very high so that's why it is the strongest oxygen known to us and it is highly explosive in nature due to this one we discuss about some properties of peroxo monosulfuric acid first we will discuss what are the physical properties then chemical properties of kerose acid ya peroxy monosulfuric acid so let us take physical so kerose acid solution they are basically clear in nature they are colorless they are very viscous and have a oily consistency in nature and the density of this kerose acid is in the range of 1.7 to 1.8 grams per liter so these are some of the physical properties of peroxy monosulfuric acid let us discuss about chemical properties of the kerose acid so we can see that kerose acid is among the strongest oxidizer known to us because we have very high plus value e not value for this one that is having Plus 2.51 volt. That's why it is the strongest oxidizer known to us, and it is unstable in nature. So generally, it can be prepared within few days of use. Whenever we have to use, then then before few days we have to prepare that for it can be utilized in the correct form. Otherwise, it cannot be utilized properly. Now it is also highly explosive in nature, especially when it is. mixing with the organic matter so that can give the explosive type reactions also now let us discuss about synthesis and production of the kerose acid ya we can say peroxy monosulfuric acid or which is also referred to as persulfuric acid so how we can prepare at, at the laboratory scale we can prepare the kerose acid which involves a combination of chlorosulfuric acid along with the hydrogen peroxide which is the simplest known peroxide known to us so when they are combining hydrogen peroxide along with the chlorosulfuric acid then we are getting the kerose acid at laboratory scale plus we are also getting one molecule of hydrochloric acid if we discuss about for large scale production of kerose acid so it is usually done on the site due to in instability because we have already discussed in the previous slide because whenever we have to use so we have to prepare this due to its instability few days before so that it can be utilized in the suitable for for various purposes so we have to for large scale production we have to done on the site so that it can be utilized in the correct form due to in instability so according to the patent by which is uh, filed by the martin kerose acid is produced by reacting greater than 85% sulfuric acid and less than 50% hydrogen peroxide as prana solution as we can see there ki that h2o2 plus h2so4 it is converting in the form of kerose acid or plus one molecule of water we are also getting now let us discuss about using industry we can utilize as a disinfectant cleaning applications like we have swing queen treatments denture cleaning they can also be utilized as the alkali metal salts of h2so4 which show promise for deligniquation of wood that is the to extract the lignins from the wood we can utilize the h2so5 that is kerose acid it can also utilize in the form of ammonium sodium potassium salts for the plastic industry which can be utilized as polymerization indicators etchants Deseasing agents, soil conditioner, and also for decolorizing and deodorizing oils form. And we will discuss about potassium peroxide monosulfate, that is KSSO5, 
it is the potassium as a salt of peroxomal sulfate that can be utilized widely as an oxidizing agent in various reactions. Now let us discuss another peroxo compound of sulfur that is peroxidisulfuric acid. So peroxidisulfuric acid is a sulfur oxo acid which is having the chemical formula S2S2O5. For Keros acid we have the formula S2S2O5 but for this one we have S2S2O5 which is also referred to as Marshall's acid. This is another name of peroxidisulfuric acid. We discuss about in terms of structural term, it can be written as HO3 S double O S O3 H. In it is structural form for this one. In this, it contains the sulfur in plus six oxidation state, but it also contains this peroxide linkage a group, which is why it appears to be in higher oxidation state than the sulfates. And its salts, which is commonly known as per sulfates, are industry important because the acid itself is not utilized. So salts contain the peroxidisulfate ion. These are utilized as a powerful oxidizing agent in industrial purposes. So this is the structure formula for the peroxidisulfuric acid in which we can see that we have this one linkage that is of peroxo linkage is present in case of that is Marshall acid. Now, come to discuss about properties and synthesis. So we will discuss about the properties of Marshall acid. So we can see that Marshall acid is hygroscopic crystalline solid which melts near about 65 degrees centigrade. What is hygroscopic? Hygroscopic are the materials that can absorb the moisture. So it can be, is because it is a hygroscopic crystalline solid, so yeah, it can be melted at 65 degrees centigrade. And it gradually decomposes at the ordinary temperature with the liberation of oxygen. Another property, when it dissolves directly in the water, so it is gives the vigorous reaction for partial conversion to that is per oxo monosulfuric acid here we can say keros acid. Now how we can synthesize and produce this martial acid in the laboratory or in the well, This acid can be prepared by the reaction of chlorosulfuric acid along with the hardened peroxide. Then we are getting the martial acid in this reaction. Now discuss about another compound peroxo that is the class of peroxo compound of carbon. We have sodium percarbonate which is example of peroxo compound of carbon. In this case what is sodium peroxo, uh, peroxo compound? Sodium percarbonate is a chemical which can be utilized as an adduct of sodium carbonate and hydrogen peroxide which is a perhydrate which is having the chemical formula that is 2Na2CO3.3H2O2. This is the adduct which can be utilized as an adduct. So this is the sodium percarbonate. And in, in terms of physical state, it is basically colorless, crystalline, solid and hygroscopic nature. And it can be utilized as a water soluble solid for various purposes. We can see that it is denser than the water and it may be combust when it in contacts with the organic material, so it can get combustion. Its contact may be irritates the skins, our eyes, mucous membranes. Whenever we are in contact with that one, the that is dangerous for us because it is showing that some health effects for our skin, eyes, and mucous membranes. So we should take precautions against that one whenever we are using this one. We have to pro follow proper safety measures. It may be toxic by ingestion. If we are ingesting this one, it improves the resistance. It can be toxic for us. And it can be also utilized to make some other chemical. It is also used in the some eco-friendly clinic products like laboratory, some sources of another peroxide. This is the adduct form in which we have seen that this, according to this one, we have two sodium carbonate molecules and three water molecules in this one. Now, what is production and use of sodium percarbonate? So in terms of production, if we discuss, so sodium percarbonate can be produced industrially by the reaction of sodium carbonate along with the hydrogen peroxide followed by crystallization. Then we are getting this adduct, 
which can be referred to as sodium percarbonate. It is a dry sodium carbonate which may be treated directly with the concentrated hydrogen oxide solution. Now, what are the various uses of the sodium percarbonate? It can be utilized as oxidizing agent, as an ingredient in number of home and laundry cleaning products, including like we have non-chlorine bleach products like Oxy B Boost, OxyClean, Tide laundry detergents, and Manage, which are nowadays very common laundry dry cleaning products in market available so it is the main component of that one that is sodium percarbonate that can be utilized as a oxidizing agent for cleaning purpose whenever it dissolves in the water it yields a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and sodium carbonate that is also which can be utilized and whenever sodium percarbonate can also be utilized in organic synthesis as a convenient source of anhydrous peroxide that is the SO2 so we can also utilize in organic synthesis purpose. Now what are sulfur nitro compounds? So as we can see that this is a structure of sulfur nitro compound. Sulfur nitro compound basically they have intensive area of research in the recent years which are having several cyclic and acyclic compounds which is isolated nowadays. The most spectacular sulfur nitrogen compound species that is the formula that is having S and Cahol X which behaves as a metal and its conductivity increases when we are decreasing the temperature and it also becomes as a superconductor below the temperature that is 0.33 Kelvin temperature. And this is the structural formula of S and X. We can see here we have S S bond to so all bonds are equal. This is equal to the 2.58 angstrom, this SN bond which are equal that is having 1.62 angstrom, the angle between this one we are having 105 degree centigrade and we have S and S angle it is the 113 degree that is the angle between this one. Now at last what is the summary of the present video? We on, in the present video, we have discussed what are the various peroxo compounds of boron, carbon and sulfur. We also discussed what are the preparation methods, general properties of peroxo compounds of boron, carbon, sulfur, in which we have discussed sodium perborate. We have discussed two peroxo compounds of sulfur and one peroxo compound of sulfur we have discussed in the present video. And we have also discussed the applications of peroxo compounds of boron, carbon, and sulfur in various areas. Now, these are some of the practice questions that can be solved on the basis of present video that we can define what are peroxo compounds of boron, what are peroxo compounds of carbon, what are the peroxo compounds of sulfur, what are the peroxo compounds, discuss the preparation properties and application of peroxo compounds of carbon draw the structures of peroxo compound sulfur and give the their method of preparation give the methods of preparation of the following that is carose acid and the martial acids these are the references that can be utilized for preparing this video at last thank you for your kind attention